as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Counterfeits To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 8 verse 20 The people of God are directed to the scriptures as their safeguard against the influence of false teachers and the delusive power of spirits of darkness. Satan employs every possible device to prevent men from obtaining a knowledge of the Bible, for its plain utterance reveals his deceptions. At every revival of God's work, the prince of evil is aroused to more intense activity. He is now putting forth his utmost effort for a final struggle against Christ and his followers. The last great delusion is soon to open before us. Antichrist is to perform his marvellous works in our sight. So closely will the counterfeit resemble the true that it will be impossible to distinguish between them except by the Holy Scriptures. By their testimony, every statement and every miracle must be tested. The man who makes the working of miracles the test of his faith will find that Satan can, through a species of deceptions, perform wonders that will appear to be genuine miracles. Satan is a cunning worker and he will bring in subtle fallacies to darken and confuse the mind and root out the doctrines of salvation. Those who do not accept the word of God just as it reads will be snared in his trap. Evil angels are upon our track every moment. They assume new ground and work marvels and miracles in our sight. Some will be tempted to receive these wonders as from God. The sick will be healed before us. Miracles will be performed in our sight. Are we prepared for the trial which awaits us when the lying wonders of Satan shall be more fully exhibited? Will not many souls be ensnared and taken? By departing from the plain precept and commandments of God and giving heed to fables, the minds of many are preparing to receive these lying wonders. We must all now seek to arm ourselves for the contests in which we must soon engage. Faith in God's word prayerfully studied and practically applied will be our shield from Satan's power and will bring us off conquerors through the blood of Christ.